Okay, now this thing's set up. I go ahead and click off screen. And from this point, type in my password. Hit enter. And of course, I mentioned earlier, there's a bug where I have to hit the Windows key. Then type my password in again. Enter. So now, it actually will display it as one screen. For some reason, it still sees it as a dual screen, even though only one screen is present. So right now, I'll finally go back to the regular screen. So right now, you'll see you have a temporary black screen, and now the regular screen. Here's your desktop environment within Fedora. Kind of scroll down a little bit with a mouse wheel. Click with a mouse, no problem. Go through this. Big Bang Boo keeps everything nice and organized this way. Even though I kind of like the way that Cinnamon does a little bit better in Lenny's Mint. Okay, now we're actually in our software center. And I will say this is a little bit better than what I had in Linux Mint because pretty much I get everything organized a little bit better and easier to get to. So let's say I want to go to development tools, click on that, let it load up, and thank goodness they load up at a normal speed. Now I'm actually recording a live demonstration. Boom, takes you right to what you actually need to get. Sorry, get takes you right to what you need to get to. If I want to do web development, give time to blow it up. Boom, there it is. Bluefish editor, IDEs. Pretty much as you know, it's already got installed, like Eclipse. Gotta have that as so a model development. Hit back. And of course, they have a plethora of games, even some that I could not get in Linux Mint, or didn't show up immediately in Linux Mint when you go to their repository. And unfortunately, this will not run here. I tried to install it, so yeah, it pretty much gave it a finger, kept going super slow and jerky. So there's no point in me installing super tuts. But of course, Bubble is installed in here as well as other games, so I'll just kind of go through this list, show you what Fedora has to offer. So you'll see you get a lot of free games with them. Whole lot. This may take a minute. Okay, there you go, Frozen Bubble, a whole bunch of other stuff. Blocks. Black Brick Games. My favorite one here is Techno Ball. Try that. It's kind of sweet. Board Games. Card Games. And of course, Emulators. And laugh out loud, I actually did install the ZX. <clears throat> the Spectrum VX emulator in here for the simple fact is hey, this actually does look like a Spectrum anyway. Or a Commodore C4 or 128. You hear role playing games, sports, so on, you know, sports I saw in here was football, aka role football like soccer and tennis, and then a few racing games is about it. Strategy, and then other. And I'll sit back at this, gonna take all that load up. <laughs> and it, once again, the server size make me a liar, so I guess the server is running smooth today, which is good. And of course, Office Suite. Boom, of course, you all already have LibreOffice installed in here already, comes with the distro. And then Evolution is kind of very similar to Outlook. Project Management, so the tools are on here. Here is something counter type project, which is planner, presentation software, stuff for your flowcharts, even some finance stuff. New cash is real popular as an offer we use and a few other options. And that's one that's part about Linux. Of course, you always have plenty of options to choose from. And a few PDF viewers. Even you go into science, a lot of stuff in here. Well, I like his lots of science and engineering, astronomy, you know, not that there's an astronomy, but most artificial intelligence, definitely computer science, you know, it would have been nice to that stuff, deal with biology and anatomy, considering I actually am in fitness, and have one thing here for medical. Of course, you got your video tools. Would not advise on this machine to do any editing, but yeah, you have your. Just regular picture stuff. This burn if you get a USB 
burner later on with the setup and cross players. However, I do recommend that if you get all these players, just install VLC, which you can pretty much do the from the command line using the yum install. So yeah, install all the uh, all the you pretty much get it set to go to repositories and non-free repositories. Get VLC installed and boom, you're all good for video players. Okay, so now I'm about to play this game known as Techno Ball Z. Start a new game. As you guys see, it's Breakout on steroids. And it's free. And of course you see your power ups. So now I can shoot three at once. And that's probably it, you actually can go to a little store in this game too. Pretty much increase the size of your size of your actual um, paddle, a few fire options, the number of balls you can carry, extra lives, and so on. Let's see, I think I'll play around with. Let's see what control does. Okay. So you go to power bar, get that, exit out. Hit space bar to start it back up. Unfortunately, you get a lose a lot if you lose your power-ups, like any other game. Lose position basically means, guess what, instead of bouncing off of here, it's going to stick to it. See, sticks to it, hit space bar, let it go. This can be real helpful because, of course, it's going to keep you from dying. Different houses giving them power up while you're playing. And of course, these balls don't have glue on them, they won't stick. And you just got a bonus ball. And then you be careful, guys, just lost the glue item. Yeah, so you kind of get an idea how this game goes. Go back to activities. Show apps. And of course, we have Doom. Or Free Doom in this case. And the music sounds very familiar to the first Doom. Sorry, Doom 2. And of course, The colors from the original Doom still work. So now I've got them all done by using the same old ID QD code. Try 
for the ID DQD or whatever it is. I just remember from pressing the man so many times. This little guy mode is enabled. Yes, shoot me. Ain't gonna do nothing. Boom. See ya. And of course, ID clip as we go through the walls. And of course, go ahead and cheat the game. <laughs> Probably fast anyone ever beat that level. And clipping is still on. No problem. Don't need no card, I'm on clip mode, baby. Clip, clip, be clip, clip. Yeah, that's 16 to a whole new level. You can't hurt me. Oh, there's the exit. Doop, doop, doop. Yeah, I know it's super cheap. Exit out. Yep. And of course, you have a ZSNES, and if you have a USB controller, it should work perfectly fine with this. So I'll go ahead and open this up. And actually, got to configure it, configure it the first time. So go to input, set keys, controller up, down, left, right, start, select. Now I gotta put my A, B. So A, B, X, Y, L, R, done. Video. 800 by 600. See this works. Sweet. Got this boy in full screen. Now go to game. Go to game. Go to documents. ZS and ES ROMs. And I'll try this game. No kidding, it's a demo. He said, no. Okay, that was lame. <laughs> Good game. Let's see what Rock Ball does. Southern graphics. Yeah, so see, basically, you gotta grab as many of these jewels as you can. Without getting crushed. Ooh.
Trying to clock. Ten. and see what this does. And what that find out is, of course, just like the Retron X86, Chromium does run here as well. So guys, this actually may be the Retron X86 that I'm playing right now. Because it's running Linux and you technically you can run old PC games or as long as they don't require a 3D accelerator. Yeah, so I first learned the tricks is I move the mouse around and just keep shooting. Blow stuff up once you get your shields up and your weapons up. Oh! And then it basically blew away my shields. So I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh boy. You guys saw I got the shield power up and lost it like right there in a split second. Yep, one more hit and kaboom. Also I have wine installed here that actually plays some Windows version games, so it actually does work as long as it's two dimensional. And actually got a few of the 2D games to work on here as well. And you have to be also a program here called My Paint. Speaking about Microsoft, however, this is a little bit better than Paint. Windows gives you MS Paint, and Fedora gives you My Paint. First of all, it's a lot prettier. Hey, I want the erase tool. Go with the pencil. Switching the marker. Thick marker. Gray is a little bit better. And I want to switch colors. Get the same blue. Make a little pink and red. Da 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 da. And that's a little mess. Discard. <laughs> 
Soil Summer Paint Program. Yeah, a little bit better, not that much better than paint, but still better than paint. And of course, everybody's favorite, the GIMP. So of course, GIMP actually runs pretty good, sorry, pretty smoothly here as well. Not really sure about Krita, but yeah, considering the limitations of this hardware, I think your best would probably just stick with GIMP. And as you can see, actually loads up very quickly. And it works very quickly. So, go ahead and exit out of here, quit. And one thing you will probably notice from just looking at some of, the just looking at some of this, you go to settings. I'm going to show you guys stuff now. On displays, I have the built-in display turned off because there is no internal display. I don't know why you're seeing it, but I'm going to try to set the resolution. The resolution is stuck at 1024 by 768. That's the one thing I don't like. That's another thing I don't like about it is you're stuck with that small resolution. So even if you have 2D software, so it's going to be scrunched up or not work correctly because you can see even on the software store, it was kind of crunched in there. So this is the FYI. Of course you have Shotwell. Another photo editing program, something nice to edit and organize your photos. And I know everyone's probably going to ask, okay, how does Office look? So let me scroll back up. There were Office. So we have Writer, which is pretty much the same as Word. Open, open. I said open, open, not opa, opa. Of course, you can even, nice part is with this, you don't have to exit out, you just go, oh, I want a spreadsheet. Boom, open up a spreadsheet. So now, boom, also calc, which is their version of Excel. Exit out of that. I want to do a presentation. I said, hey, I want a presentation. Go to new. Presentation. Bing, bang, boom. Now I have impressed, which is pretty much their version of PowerPoint. Is it that? And of course, that just comes with this, so no worries. G Edit, basically, same as Notepad. There's a clock application, which kind of works as the application you will see on a phone or your iPod or iPad or your tablet PC or your Droid device. So, yeah. So now that I've seen that, I'm like, yeah, so actually they did kind of set this up to work on microcomputers as well, which is probably why this interface and everything else running so smoothly. And like I said, I have dev tools. This doesn't work, so guys, don't use more core microcomputer desktop because it's not going to work on here. We have Scribus. If you guys want to do cards and other type of editing software, sorry, if you guys want to do desktop publishing, so this is perfect for flyers, even greeting cards, books invitations and so on so let's go from the templates we have on here we can do brochures business cards cards newsletters PDFs packaging and of course your posters cancel don't really want to do anything right Change now out. And one more thing I want to tell you guys, once again, all the software that I put on here was free and legal. <laughs> so you guys get a lot for not paying anything, so. Okay, now here's my final verdict. If you can guys can deal with the lack of screen resolution, as well as the fact that it doesn't have any 3D acceleration, and have $180 to spend, hey, go ahead and get it. It's a good platform to kind of play around with, and nothing else. I definitely get sets to learn Linux and different operations with, and just have fun with. And as far as Fedora is concerned, it may not be the one that's replaced by Linux Minutes. However, it's still an excellent operating system and definitely worth checking out.